Hey, this is Mr. H, and I'm going to show you how to make a graph using graphical analysis on your iPad. So the first thing you want to do is pick a new experiment and do manual entry. And what you'll see looks like this. You're going to need to input your data into the columns. Your uh, independent or X value is going to be the length of your slinky, which is in meters. So please click on the box and you can change the, uh, the headings there in the column options. You'll do the same thing for your dependent variable, which is going to be your velocity of your slinky or wave. That's in meters per second. Um, and again, you just do that by clicking on the column and doing column options. Then click on um, the little graph icon in the lower left corner. And you're going to want to go ahead and uh, when that opens, go to graph options and go ahead and title your graph as well as I've done here. Then it's time to go ahead and put your data in. You do that by clicking on the actual cell itself. You can see here that it's kind of touchy. You just gotta keep clicking it until it registers. And once you do that, you'll go ahead and just input your data. Uh, you can hit next and that will jump you over to the next cell. Hit next again and it will create a whole nother data set. So as you can see, I'm just working my way through here, entering the data every time I just keep hitting next and that will jump me over to the next value. As you do this, the points are plotted automatically, which you'll see those little red dots show up on your graph. Don't use my data here. I'm totally making this up as I go along. Please use your data you collected in the lab. From there, you're gonna to wanna to click with your finger long press and then drag it over your data points. And then from there, um, your, you click on the graph tools and you will go ahead and get a fit, make sure it's linear. And from there, you'll have uh, your slope of your line pop up in that little box that you see there. So for example, my slope is 1.931. From here, you're ready to take your data and throw it into notability. So use that little icon in the upper right corner to get a just graph. Go ahead and screenshot it, save it for later, and then switch over. Um, make sure you get your graph or, um, and your tables individually. Screenshot those uh, both. And then from there, you can jump over to Notability and you can go ahead and add those um, pictures into your Notability file. Please make sure you title your Notability file with your name so that I do know when you turn this in that it is from you. So go ahead and find those pictures in your photo roll, drop them in, size them up, as you see here. Make sure that everything's included there, including titles, labels on your axes, the whole deal. Do the same thing, you'll drop your data table in. Again, scale it so we can see it, as you see I'm doing here. And now you've got your graph and your data table on one page. You'll wanna go ahead and determine the equation of your line. And when you do, you'll go ahead and write it right there where I'm showing you. Okay, please be very careful on this part. That would be, um, you know, this is be, would be where you get your bonus points. In addition, below the graph, or below the table rather, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put a sample calculation for how you determined your velocity below. Once that's all set, you are ready to share this file, this PDF with um, Schoology. So you'll wanna go ahead, share the note, open Schoology, and find the assignment um, for the Slinky Graph turn-in, and then you are all set to turn in your assignment. Good luck. If you have any questions, watch the video again, or consult the webpage, or just ask your teacher. Thanks for watching.